Hi everyone, this is Sam from BoardAtWork.com and today we're taking a look at PNY's XLR8 Performance Edition for the G4 GTX 660 Ti. Now this is an older board, but why, what we are doing today is basically giving you a budget alternative to uh, some of the higher end boards out there like the 660 and uh, higher. Um, now, this board is actually part of the performance line, so this is geared towards gaming. For those of you who really want to go all high end and have your resolution, you know, at almost at 4K level, this really wouldn't be the card for you. However, for those of you who want to, to get the best bang for your buck, this is definitely the card to go for right now. Um, you can find this card on uh, Amazon for about. Mm, 281 and um, on the PNY side itself is still listed at about in, in, in the range of um, the lower 300 so about 320 330 now I'm gonna open this up and uh, give you a view of exactly what the box looks like it's just as always a sleeve basically what we come to expect from PNY packaging and um, I'm gonna try to open this over here oh not there hmm there we are Right now, similar to the last board we saw from uh, the last graphics card we saw from PNY, this also comes in this nice showcase with a plastic base and a um, you know a clear plastic cover over it. Now, as you can see, the graphics card itself is black um, with the PNY XLR8 written in yellow or gold lettering with the GTX um, 660 Ti. The branding is right on the front of it. This is, as always, what we've come to expect from, um, from PNY, which is a beautifully designed minimalistic style with very beautiful XLR8 logo on there. The XLR8 logo, I don't know if you can see it clearly from there, but I'm going to zoom in a little bit and see maybe you can see it clearer now. The XLR8 logo is really the stylized, um, almost like a signature that PNY slaps on all its performance edition um, hardware. And I think that's a really nice added touch to, um, you know, to a device. You're clunking down probably two to three hundred dollars for now zoom out again now while this is in the performance card this card should be able to handle most of the your gaming needs at 1080p resolution now that means a lot of games that are currently out there right now should be able to high, uh, you should be able to play almost every single game out there right now with you know higher than average um, settings if not the highest settings I know that uh, currently my uh, my GTX uh, 550 on there, I, I believe, uh, can uh, actually play some of the some of the higher end games. So this this card should definitely blow that out the water. I'll give you the performance test on that um, soon enough. Now I'm going to basically pop this out to give you a look at exactly what the card is. Now the card itself is not um, you know too heavy. It's pretty light. It will take up two. Um, drive bays as you can see so you have to make sure that you have enough space when installing this card now this card also features two gigabytes of um, you know on, on board RAM and um, you should so it should basically handle all your gaming needs now uh, PNY has definitely included a few things in here but as you can see this is just a PNY driver right here uh, a power cord and a VGA to DVI or D sub connector over here. We've gone ahead and um, you know loaded up um, Bioshock Infinite, and I'm gonna you know go back and um, give you guys a look at exactly what our graphics settings are right now. You would notice that most of the graphics settings on here are set to ultra, so um, we were trying to basically push this card as far as we can. Field of view is basically max, set to max and um, we're getting all the bells and whistles on as well now we're just going to go back into the game and um, just give a quick performance or just a quick playthrough and performance on uh, on this card now let's see now first things first you would notice that yes the game is beautiful but the card does a beautiful job of rendering everything without any stutters so i'm moving around pretty fast hopefully you don't have vertigo from this but um yeah this is um it's pretty responsive now I'm going to go and get myself into a situation where there's a little bit of gunplay here. Now, I'm going to do a quick... Ah. Alright, so let's see. Continuing from uh, previous gameplay where I actually got myself... Uh, knocked. Give me a second. 
seconds. You might not be able to see this, but there's, uh, I believe, uh, I've got Lincoln. Damn, sorry. There's a Lincoln machine, or a machine with Lincoln's face on it, all the way over there. And as much as I love that president, I'm gonna have to stop that machine. So as you can see, Patriot, you know, just... Booker, catch. Okay, that was pretty fluid right there. Um, now, as you can see, the graphics on this is pretty impressive. I'm basically going through a... Um, basically going through a gunfight, and um, it seems to be holding up pretty well. Now, I might not survive this gunfight, but the game itself is holding up pretty well. Alright. Now, this is towards the end of the game, so I have most of my, um, most of my upgrades, so it's a little easier to kill these guys, but they're still giving me a heck of a time. Now... Huh. Someone's telling me to- oh, there we go. Now, let's try that. There. Now... Ooh, language, language, my brother. Language. Let's take, uh... Let's get the farm ass bastard out here. Alright, now. Don't get me. I'm a nice guy. You don't want to kill me. Get the hand out. I can help you. Yeah, get out of my way. Okay, catch! Alright, now you're being useful. Fine. Shot. Okay. Reload. I like the other gun better. Alright, let's keep going. There we are. Get some ammo going. Booker, catch! Oh, dang it. That's a robot over there. That's all I have right now. And I have that robot down. There we go. Oh, nice gun. Let's see how this works. So I'm going to grab this gun. This is rapid fire. Let's see if we can slow this game down a little bit. The graphics on here, rapid fire, basically... Crazy lighting going on, flashes, everything, while moving, and nope, not even a little hiccup. Now, all in all, this is an impressive performance by the car. The 660 Ti, while not being the highest grade car you can get on the market, is still a solid performer, as you can see. So if you're into building a pretty cool rig and you don't want to spend top dollar on it, for about 254 you can get this on Newegg. You know, swap it for your current card, if that's an upgrade to you, and um, you will be very very impressed and very very satisfied with your purchase so uh, all in all i can hear someone shouting stuff over there or whatever so i'm going to take care of this last baddie and we will call it a wrap there we are seriously you calling me trash huh oh this is this is not going to go down well for this dude huh well i got a gatling gun here you're asking me to surrender? I have a huge gun. Oh boy. Oh, I have a big gun with no ammo. Yeah, that's always a problem. Ooh, that's a that's a little bit of fire burn. That's, uh... Thank you. Ooh, headshot! Ooh! Nice! Nice! That was Marksmanship 101? Yeah? Oh yeah, you have no ammo. Well everyone, this has been SampleBoardAtWork.com with um, the 660 Ti from PNY for part of their game, their signature gaming line. Um, you can find this on New Egg for about 254. This is an amazing card, great performance, all in all. Now, we've tested it on Bioshock, on Ultra, or should I say Bioshock Infinite on Ultra, and this card came out blazing. So, once again, enjoy your entertainment.